This Hyundai Ioniq 5 hit over 400,000 miles. Here's everything that went wrong. Hey, welcome back to EVpedia, the place where we dive deep into everything electric. If you've been watching for a while but haven't hit that subscribe button, come on, don't leave us hanging. It's like owning an electric car and never plugging it in. Come on, let's get that charge going. Hit the subscribe, smash the like button, and drop a comment below because we love hearing from you. To all our loyal EVpedia family, thank you for your constant support. You guys are the heart of this channel, and we're so grateful for each of you. All right, let's dive right into today's electrifying story. Let's talk about a car that's been through it all and yet keeps going, showing the world just how durable the Hyundai Ioniq 5 can be. Can you believe it? This Hyundai Ioniq 5 has racked up a mind-blowing 400,000 miles on the odometer. Yeah, you heard that right. Over 400,000 miles. That's more than most cars ever see in their entire lifetime, and it's all packed into a car that's just a little over three years old. Now, you might be thinking, what's the catch? Well, let's get into it. The car has had its fair share of challenges, but it hasn't been a nightmare by any means. The biggest issue? A battery replacement at 360,000 miles. But that's not all. Let's break down what really went wrong with this Ionic 5, and I promise, it's not as bad as it sounds. So, here's the deal. This is probably the highest mileage Ionic 5 in existence. It's been driven a jaw-dropping 413,992 miles, which is an astonishing 666,255 kilometers. Talk about a road warrior. On average, this car's owner was driving about 378 miles a day. That's nearly 400 miles a day. Imagine doing that every single day. It's definitely not for faint-hearted, but that's the reality when you have a car that's built to handle such heavy use. Now, let's talk about the problems. First off, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 has been a huge success since its debut. It's sleek, stylish, and incredibly capable, but when compared to something like the Tesla Model Y, it doesn't quite have the same range. Despite that, Hyundai has sold hundreds of thousands of Ioniq 5s across the globe, and it's been mostly smooth sailing. Sure, there were some concerns about the 12-volt battery issue, but Hyundai's recall campaign handled it well, and most owners haven't had any issues. But back to the high-mileage story. This Ionic 5 had to undergo a few key repairs to stay in tip-top shape. The car's integrated charging control unit, ICCU, for example, failed, which means it can't charge from an AC source right now. It's a bummer, but not a deal-breaker. The car's also been into limp mode once, which is an emergency mode when the system detects a fault. But those things are minor when you consider the total distance this car has covered. The real showstopper here is the high-voltage battery replacement. At around 360,000 miles, the battery gave out and had to be swapped for a new one, which was done for free at Hyundai Motors Namyang R&D Center. That's pretty unusual, especially since Hyundai's standard battery warranty is mileage-based. Normally, this would have been a costly repair, likely thousands of dollars. But Hyundai probably saw this as a chance to analyze the old battery and gather valuable data. Plus, let's be real, they probably wanted some good PR to show off the longevity of their vehicle. What's really wild is that the old battery still had 87% health when it was replaced. And this owner is no stranger to DC fast charging and pushing the car to its limits, regularly charging to 100%. That's an impressive feat in itself. Charging a car like that at such high volumes and still getting that kind of battery performance. Here's where it gets interesting. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 warranty in the U.S. covers a high-voltage battery for 10 years or 100,000 miles. So, this particular scenario is pretty rare. The average American drives about 13,500 miles a year, which means it would take them over 30 years to reach that 413,000-mile mark. So, this case is more of an outlier. But still, it gives us some serious insight into the durability of the Ioniq 5. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not something that's happening to every Ionic 5 out there. Most of us aren't putting that kind of mileage on our EVs, and chances are you'll never need a battery replacement at that mileage. But it's still fascinating to see how well Hyundai's eGMP platform is holding up over time. We've reached out to Hyundai to get more info about this record-breaking Ionic 5, so stay tuned for updates as soon as we hear back from them. In the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and tell us, would you be willing to take your car this far, or do you think Hyundai's mileage record is just a fluke? And before you go, remember to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Share it with your friends, and let's keep the conversation going. Your support means the world to us, and it helps keep the EV revolution alive. If you really want to support the channel, 
Don't forget the super thanks button. Thank you for sticking around and being part of the EVpedia family. You're not just a viewer. You're part of the reason we do what we do. Stay charged, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next video.